back everybody here now with that full forecast it's still pretty hot outside most of us still seeing temperatures in the upper 80s some even the lower 90s 88 degrees here in San Angelo 87 on either side Merton and Paint Rock 90 up here in Robert Lee doesn't look like anyone has dropped into the 70s yet still a very warm time but as we continue into the rest of tonight temperatures will start to cool down we'll see lows get into the upper 60s a few people holding on to those lower 70s as well you see 66 here in Paint Rock as well as in Brady 68 up here here in Abilene as well as in San Angelo. Those places holding the 70s all up here in the northwestern big country, 71 in Anson and Roby, Colorado City, Big Spring, and Midland. But everyone is going to get their fair shot of seeing this heat because it's just not going to go anywhere. We'll have temperatures in the 90s throughout the rest of this week, and we'll get to the triple digits by the time we start next week. You see that 101 degrees on Sunday, 103 on Monday, and it'll even go up from there. But we're also going to see some humidity as well. It's been somewhat consistent with this high pressure system that we've been seeing. It's been bringing in some of that warm Gulf air and it's part of the reason that these storms were possible yesterday, but it's going to stick around for a bit, start to decrease as we get partly into next week. That's also a reason that we're not that we haven't seen and we may not see fire weather risk as well. We will, though, also see some gusty winds, which could kind of be a nice thing just because it'll be something to cool us down with all these warm temperatures. 30 mile per hour winds on Thursday and Friday will calm down a bit on Saturday down to 15 and then up to 25 on Sunday and Monday. But the weather pattern here is a little bit of a complex one, but really not too much going on for us here specifically in West Texas. Now, currently, there actually are some showers that are in the Pecos area somewhere in the southern Permian Basin that I have not quite made it over here. And they're mostly not going to. They're doing a lot of dissipating before they actually get that far. But this dry line is the one causing all of the action, the one that did it yesterday, and the one that's causing the rains that we'll see tonight. Well, we will not see them, but the Premium Basin will. It'll continue to do some back and forth, but that cold front really is going to be slowly working its way through, starting to catch up to it as we get into Thursday. When we get into Thursday evening, it's going to be sitting right outside of our area. It could bring a shower or two, but the chances are extremely light. Again, they're looking to stay further west, closer towards the border of Texas. But as we continue to Friday night, that's when we'll have some better chances as we get through. This is the morning time where you see that front is going to start to approach, but it's going to stall for quite a while. And we're not really going to see those rain chances come up until we get later into Friday night and then into Saturday morning. The timeline generally ending around Saturday at 4 a.m. So it'll be gone. Any showers that we do see will be gone by the time that you're waking up on Saturday morning and we'll be able to get on with our weekend. You see a clear radar by the time we get to 7 a.m. So wrapping up there's seven day forecast hot is the word you need to remember the slight chance of rain going into Friday, but don't expect any high rain totals from that either getting into the hundreds, the triple digits by the time we start into next week and will continue to rise as we get through it.